This video is sponsored by Squarespace. <laughs> Today we are at a centre in Huddersfield called Free Climb. It's our first time here and they very kindly let us in to have a play on the boulders. There's one boulder in particular which I have selected as a project. It's um, a blue and blues at Free Climb are V6 to V8 and um, it's definitely my kind of thing um, but I just figured I'd take you through kind of like the, the process of bringing a boulder problem together um, as I sometimes do on the channel kind of like start to finish I mean the goal with these is always to get get the send right but I can't make any promises <laughs> it's in the lap of the gods but I'm feeling good, feeling strong. This is the start hold, matched on here. And then you're going out to the left to like a crimp. And I don't know, because the foot, because of the angle of the wall, first off, and because of where that handhold is and where that foothold is, I'm not quite sure if I want to go straight for that. But I'm imagining I'm going to end up here, like this. And then there's the bit in the middle which I'm like the most worried about. The crimp up to like this kind of slopery pinchy hold up there i think just it looks quite big like the distance between this good hold and that hold is fairly big but i think that i can play around with feet there's options and then the top's just kind of like a rock over but with all that said it might just feel completely different when i get on it so i think the next thing to do is just to get on the thing it's a v6 to v8 so i'm not expecting to get it first time but I'll go in with the mentality that it could go first time. Have a bit of belief. Is that right? <laughs> it's wobbly. I feel like I'm wobbling off the whole time. I don't. I feel like I need to be further. I'm confused. <laughs> I feel like I want to keep it. I had a really good uh, guppy, say a guppy, on here, and that felt really good. As soon as I started moving down to here, not so good. Cracked what I want to do, which is encouraging. I'm like, I, I need to come into the right hand, quite squeezed. I think it's just like making sure you're set and balanced and going for it. I'm prepared to engage on it like immediately. But it feel, it's a good hold. That right hold, like when you're like that, it feels really good. So I'm going to stick with that beta, I think, and just focus on like really going into that position and then figuring out my feet from there. That, the bottom of that hole is not good enough to like spring up for like that. I think I've got to go static and stand up into it. Like this, this foot is good enough to get quite a lot on. It's a little bit blind because of this. Kind of expecting it to go at any point. 
but I think that will work. So I hope you are enjoying me battling with my project so far. I wanted to quickly interrupt the project to bring you the sponsor of today's video, which is Squarespace. I have been working with Squarespace for a few months now. You'll have seen them mentioned in my videos often. They are the kind of one-stop shop for web hosting, hosting a blog, hosting an online store. So I currently use Squarespace to host my website and my online blog. What I really love about Squarespace for blogging is how multimedia it feels. I've mentioned before that you can drag and drop pretty much anything. So obviously photos, videos, but you can also link out to your external social media. You can include web store items in blog posts. Squarespace's templates really just make it super easy to customize your blog posts and make them as engaging as they possibly can be for your audience so that you can connect with them on the level that you want to and keep them coming back. So perhaps you want to create your own online blog or host your own online store. If you're interested in trying out Squarespace, head over to w www.squarespace.com forward slash Hannah Morris and then when you are ready to launch use the unique code Hannah Morris for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain but now back to battling with my blue <laughs> and I'll see you back at free climb so what I generally like to do when I'm projecting a boulder is like break it down into sections so I'm gonna try the middle section from that move so I'll use a like black hold to get in and then I can like practice my moves. Okay, it's got potential. I think so. I think I just need to stand up more on the legs. I'm going to give this blue a last attempt because I think the move in the middle could be possible but then equally it might just be a little bit harder. Full stretch but and also I find the start quite hard so it's not a given that I'll get to that move but I really like the like the catch the crimp into the like catch is, is good fun so I'm going to give it another go and see if I can stick it. Stick it. and then use the foot chip for the top rather than just like try and lank it <laughs> which never I always try and do that and never like never works out because I'm not super tall to remember what I did it's really cool like for this move I use the Gaston to like get me further across to then go for the crimp which feels like, feels like I've figured something out. But. Use that. <laughs> I look devastated, but it goes. Felt really hard that time though. I think I'm like, I've tried pretty hard, haven't had much rest all session. So, 
I'm gonna try again. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a good brush and like a big rest. But I think, I think it can go. Maybe next go. Maybe not. But either way, like progress on that, I'm really pleased with. It's it V6. So that's kind of like, like my grade limit. I think I've climbed one V7 in my life. So if you could like bag a V6 in a session, that would be, that'd be pretty cool. I feel so sweaty. So I've had a, a big rest and a chat and a coffee. And now I'm gonna give this a last go. And then if I can't get it, I think I'm gonna like find some others around the center of it. I think it could go. Anyway, oh man, sequence felt better that time though, felt like, maybe it didn't look smoother, but it felt like, because I knew what I was doing, like I knew what to expect next, I like flowed through it a little bit better. I, would, I really love it when you like invest some time in a problem and then piece it all together. It's like the perfect, the perfect journey of the send, I feel. Um, yeah, super fun. Really nice sequence through the beginning. And then just some like trusting my feet at the end, which is super cool. I, I knew from like my goes all the way through when I like nearly got the top that I could do it. It's just whether or not I hit like fatigue before that happened. But yeah, I'm really glad I stuck with it. And I really hope that you enjoyed watching me <laughs> unpick the boulder and find the way for me. I hope you find these videos like interesting, following me along on a, on a session, climbing with me. Um, again, thank you to Free Climb for letting us in and for setting some cool blocks. Uh, we'll definitely be back in the future. I've got a couple of projects around the centre, which I need to come back for. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in my next one.